Now you might have heard of Operation Warp Speed. That's the government partnership with private manufacturers, and it aims to deliver 300 million doses of a vaccine by January of 2021. And Congress has put a lot of money behind this effort, too, to make it all happen to the tune of almost $10 billion. Eric? Okay, well, yes, so that's a big one right there, but how about this as well, Marla? So how far along are some of these Operation Warp Speed vaccines? Well, that's right, Eric. As you mentioned, there is hope to have a vaccine by the end of this year, and currently there are three vaccines right now that are in phase three clinical trials, which means they are some of the furthest along in the process. Those trials involve thousands of people who are participating. In fact, this week we even heard from a local woman who is participating in one of those large vaccine trials. So the participants either get a vaccine or a placebo and researchers monitor how they're doing along the way. Uh, there are three other vaccine trials that could begin later this year. So we're talking about a total of six. Okay, so potentially six vaccines. Why so many, Marla? Well, that is a great question, Alona. Researchers want multiple vaccines for several reasons. For starters, the U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services says one vaccine may work better for others. So, for example, one vaccine may work well for healthcare workers and another vaccine may work well for people living in nursing homes. So that's really one of the reasons they're wanting to have a variety. On top of that, this is a global pandemic. So having multiple vaccines means the opportunity to getting a vaccine out to more people. Now, in in order for a vaccine to get to the stage where it can be distributed, it has to go through a number of steps from animal testing to testing involving humans. And we're going to take you through all those phases of the vaccine trial that's coming up tonight at 10. Eric. All right.